Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon's Violet episode. Um, we're gonna continue through Paldea and just look at what, um, what things we have. What's this? Hold on. There's a, there's an explanation mark. Oh. Um, let me, uh, let me, uh, really quickly just do that. sure that I actually last year <laughs> okay. changed my password so that's why I was freaking out I want to make sure that it's still connected though oh my green screen is active as well So many things to remember. Y'all can't hear it, let me know, but although by the end of now, I guess, or end of today. Okay, we should probably just go this way. I mean, right. I could probably put what Pokemon I'm using as well. Oh, a hundred. Or some current, sorry.
get a bug. Yeah, I know. There's a bunch of those uh, square ones. Ruben the janitor. Does the antidote immediately heal? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Stay away, the junk.
I'm a Pokemon League rep, been having some nice Pokemon battles. The good news is you can defeat four trainers here in, a, in Area 1 of the South Province. There's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far you've defeated four trainers here in the South Province. On behalf of Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. Thunder Wave. Nice. You're holding this challenge for other areas around Paldea 2. Stop by and try them. Cool. Boy, Mace. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? Alright, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Mace, let's have a fruitful battle. Just out in, fr in the front gates. Isn't there like. Some kind of. <laughs> You really work your type matchups. Matchups. I can tell how badly you want. That's annoying. Why isn't our stun? <laughs> wow, doing even better than I expected. You're in a good chat face. Battling you is a blast. I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Well, it's got a light bulb. Oh, I'm electrocuted. Terra, terra stylizing is always a solid strategy. It gives me okay. I'm assuming I'm dead. <laughs> no, no. It did not hit harder than it usually does. Now Palmy gets to go before me.
And I can't believe how fast you're improving. Amazing, look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. Come to think of it, you can't ter terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forgot you. I forgot how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives and thanks. <laughs> now, Mega's. Messi goes is waiting just past this gate. I'll ask the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Alright, here I am, I found a gate. Well, this is Mesa Goza, the biggest city in Paldeo. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty friends and fixings. What do you want to see first, Mesa? I didn't have you picked for a big eater, but that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? When speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too. There's a few things that gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal accommodation, you've got to see Delibird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Okay. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready, the stairs up to school are no joke. Later, then get pumped for some terrestrializing. Okay, let me... Alright, everyone's healed. I am just gonna take a picture of the party that I have right now. Okay. Let's see, Delibird presents. can't read. Nope. Shit. I did it again. Okay, it's not that bell then. Where the heck is this place?
I can have phone cases? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, wait. I could have just, yeah. Need my bag. Damn, the bronze arm. Oh, interesting. One of those ice squirrels. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Hmm, you want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We've already got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burned so bright, it hurts to look at us. Both you knew that, right? Uh, another ignorant little nobody here. I'm finally part of Team Star and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's online, so we've got no choice but to battle. Yeah, that's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face, nobody ends up seeing stars. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> okay.
How come I'm the one seeing stars? Eric, why is nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way he beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Hiro Bueno, what do you think you're doing? As that student council debate, she's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Mace. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that wrong. Wait, wrong, sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi, we weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Terra Orb. Okay. With this Terra Orb, you can territorialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it territorializes, I'm pretty sure your Spirit Gods will be a Grass type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing and mess with his Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid, then take your places in battle. I could just kill this thing without Tartalizing, but okay. Your Pokemon burns so bright. Nice maze, but lots of territorializing, no problem. Move, moves of your Pokemon's Terra-type will hit even harder when it's territorialized. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra-type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Well, well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah. Asta Lovey Star. Me too, Asta Lovey Star. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So, uh, yeah, see you around. Cool backpack. Aw, oh, look at you, Maze, already becoming a big hero. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. <laughs> anyway, seems like the trouble's died down, so we better book it to school and get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I, took, I could take three steps at a time. Oh, that's so cool. 
Here we are. Welcome to Yuba Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me and those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Maze, Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? I imagine Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion rank student council president. Reliable as ever. Well, I know how to look after my friends. Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? <laughs> it was down the stairs from the front gates that were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That's quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? I actually made his flags on him and ran him off. <laughs> you don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do you remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles? Right, yes sir, director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say. I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. And, Nimona, if you'd be so good to report to Mr. Shack about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, you should be kept apprised of all such ongoings. You got it, sir. Oh, but look at the time. You had better... You two had better head... Hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A. Come on, I'll show you the way. Man, I gotta do school. It's winter break. What the heck? Hmm. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a little new friend joining our happy home as of today. wonder what they'll be like. Hmm. Alright, you can come on in. It's me! Hello! Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun my name. <laughs> Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you. Alright then, who wants to be first to ask our friend a new question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Really awesome, I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for the new classmate? I have a question. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Um, strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me. We're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jack. I teach biology here at the academy. Oh. And I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. Biology was hard. <laughs> Alright, you're ragamuffins. You ragamuffins. It's an insult, I guess. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Shep. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Biology class is available to take. Math class is available to take. Okay, how do I... You can now move around the school. Try checking out places on the map where you see someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Now choose a location and start exploring. Uh, looks like there's a there's that one guy who gave me the Oh hey, so we meet again. Arden. You remember me, right? Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a my mine like a steel trap, huh? Hold on, what does he make another one?
I need to tell me your name. Mace, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. Nope. I'm kind of famous. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today. Uh, just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make a dream in reality. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about the picnic life, the great outdoors. Perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that will help Pokemon feel better, real health food. I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herb that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Well, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little look at them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, and even boost the immune system. Uh, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans are, well, I think they've gotten, got to be other things like Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed, I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. The differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate. To say nothing of it, treads of iron. It's treads of iron. Interesting. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I'd never ever hear the end of it if I went crawling to the student council goal. They hear you, Waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. Okay, Titan Flares have been added to your map. Path of Legends. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do a bit and we can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Bag of Stardust. What does Stardust do again? Give the idea to some serious thought, please. Oh, I, I mean... I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't know why I want to do it. Uh, okay, I think I'm fine. Oh, got a message. This is Maze, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. My name's Casso Cassiopeia. Never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Maze, you know about Team Star, right? Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave it to you. Bye. Okay. Don't know how you hack a phone without... Ah, Maze. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. Oh, you go. On you go, then, young man. Team Star, you say. Is 
the director evil. Okay, um, just some lessons. Uh, where do you want to go? I guess we'll go to the staff room. I don't know how to go to the classes. Very well, champion. The moment I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. Glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Assuming she's a gym leader. Oh, may I say? Picked your interest, huh? That lady is well. They call call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. With that. Oh, which reminds me, remember in the homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Hang on. Though, i got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here it goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers, their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. It should happen soon. The last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great, you get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe. I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. <laughs> Let me go ahead and save the gym's location in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> cool. Victory Road. Okay. Give it some thought. Calling Mage to the Director's Office, please. Oh, shit. Once again, Mage to the Director's Office, please. I'm already in trouble. Where do you want to go? I want to go to the director's office because I was called there. <laughs> Damn, that's a big ass office, actually. Thank you for coming. Have you been enjoying your time here at the academy? That is most wonderful to hear. Now you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Friend of you? Pokemon? I know, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Uh, Professor? Well, Maze, it's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Palthea. A site known as Area Zero. 
cool. That's a big crater. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. May student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Mirrodin. Is that correct? Thank you. I appreciate that you are honest and confirming facts. Fucking, I don't care. It's not like you're going to take it from me. I'll nod that I, I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Oh, you just came out, huh? Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Uh, Mirrodin was once in my care, you see. The Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you treated it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Mirrodin on my behalf? I do appreciate your agreement. So cool ass Pokemon, why wouldn't I? Meridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it requires some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. Damn, that's cool. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Okay. Damn, this game is, like, in-depth. Until then. I oh, just walked off. <laughs> that was it. I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Arizona? Is it Arizona? Area Zero. Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Did what? Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite a favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Mirrodon. I don't know how to... How do I get the... How do I go to class, though? Mm -hmm. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here. Getting called into the director's office. How do you land in that much trouble already? <laughs> Not kidding, I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room. Let's go check it out. I haven't even gone to class, and it said I had three classes available. I am confused. Yeah, this is big. From today on, this is your room. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. You're running a dorm? Maybe check out your new bed. It looks comfy and you must be pretty worn out from all this. Stuff happening on your first day. Quick rest on your bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you're rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. So bed is a free Poke Center? That's sick. I don't like the green. I don't like the tiles. I'm all, you know. <laughs> Me. Oh, that's cool. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at U Uva Academy. And then at the... At last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. I have still not taken a single class. <laughs> Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard while I explain in more detail. You should have knocked first. It's time. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. We gotta go to the schoolyard director's orders. 
Oh. Up top. It's in the ball. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. I have not learned a single thing. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deeper, deeper your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people too. <laughs> Where you will travel, who you will meet, and what you will achieve. Of course your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. <laughs> you will journey together, learn new things together, share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Will the treasure hunt begin? One word. Heck yeah! Woo! Woo. Tell me, yeah, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Sisler, we're riding out. Oh, uh, that's the Pokemon, it's the Sisler. Okay. Take care, everyone, and remember the great creator of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. But the, I thought the professor allowed me to go. What are you waiting for, Maze? Let's go. Maze, maze. I see you. The treasure hunt is finally starting. Yeah, fair question, since this is your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Again, did not learn a single thing at school. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the UV Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventure to see what experiences paldea has got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon Gems, you could help out people in need, you can hunt for a real capital T treasure if you want it, even. There's stuff we've never learned sitting in a classroom, you know, that this is our chance. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? Yes, I did. You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That would get you on your way easy. How's that for a student council president giving your own friends an insider advantage? Insider advantage? She should make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's amazing whether he goes. This is going to have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing out the champion rank. Me and him are going to be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Gerba Mystica. And Ciro, don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's up to Maze whether he goes, right? Your phone's ringing. Hey, guys. Casapia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before. Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. 
I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star Grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. Heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone front for you. Jesus. Team Star bases have been added to your map. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second, you... Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Mesa's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. Thought it was up to Mesa to decide whether he goes or not. <laughs> Isn't that what you said? How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Mesa, but... What was that all about? Maze, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm going to battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet the experience will be the treasure. <sighs> Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Okay. Oh, and I know we've been running our malls, but it's your call what to do, Maze. Go where you want and do what is really want to do most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be my, or my big dream of tracking down the herb in this coat, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Okay. What do you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? I mean, I did give it a sandwich. Well, you're not getting one. Seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on this? Probably. Jump on the rally. When you're on the back, you can press the B to have a jump, allowing you to leap over. Press the plus button again to get off of Marin and walk. Okay. Well, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird size leap. Long as you've got Meriden, you can go pretty much anywhere Pavi is your cloister. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd set out from the from the East Gate. But since Mace is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. This is why I can't get along with you. Come out of here, catch up soon, little buddy. I am going to do the gyms first before I do the Titans. I'll head to a gym. See you around. Can I move? Thank you. Um, so that's the great crater. We're going to do water type first. Because that'll be math. Uh, let's see. I don't understand how you take class. Oh. Like, how do you take a class? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, anyways. How do I get out of this place? Uh, yeah, I got it. Where's the map? So I go... What's the bug type Pokemon? I want to do water type first. So... Oh boy. Bless you. 
Come on, let's get out of this place. Go in here, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Igly Club. Oh, didn't you? Oh no, wait, these are a pair. What the heck are you? Tandem Mouse. Never heard of him. Well, that ain't effective. Don't kill. That's a strong one. The more Pokemon I catch, the more I know what is weak. 104, damn. I forgot to once learn Magical Leaf. See him around. Damn, that's a lot of money. I'll be back. <laughs> Don't worry. Locking on would be needed. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly fight this person. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, that's a big boy. Level 50, yes! Ey. Dude's got some power.
Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus. I thought I was gonna be able to go first. Uh, can I run? Why is it, why why is there a level fifty six? Yeah, I'm not winning that. I am not winning that. Yes, I know. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't worry about it at all. Actually, we'll probably buy some potions. Yes, thank you. Why would I need to sneak up? I don't. I need to buy stuff. Um. Actually, I'm pretty good. Never mind. I got potions. Wait, so, uh, this is a gym, isn't it? Are you ready to face a Pokemon's champion assessment? No. Then come back and tell me once you've readied yourself. Okay. How do I... Like fly. Oh boy. I have to go all <laughs> That's so far away. Can I not like fly to this area? Ah, I see. I can fly here. Okay, I'm gonna at least get outside to the correct area, and then I'll save it. Because <laughs> I got lost and did the challenge assessment instead. So... Let's see. This way, and then let's towards this. See, I don't understand how to read this map because I need to go. I want to go this way to get down there, so I need to go. No, that's not the right way. Here you go back. And then over here? Because there's supposed to be. Ah! There we go. Good lord. Hey, it's me, Nimona. You should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to set out heading west from the school, right? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cartondo. That's where you'll find the bug type. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat Hermes. Good luck. I'll call you soon. I won't be doing the bug type first. I'll be doing the water type. Because that one I can actually fight right now. I guess I could fight a bug type. Okay. Oh, Marie. I'm gonna catch one of these really quick. Hello.
Heck yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. I think it just saved. Um, I just want to make sure, though. Awesome. Alright, cool. Well, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.